here is the code for the monorail program. So up top we have the included libraries or header files, as well as some code, I mean comments. And then we get into the uh, void run step, which is the cog that'll be running the, the motor. And since it is a cog, it requires it to be initialized or mentioned up top to allow it to run as well as the global variables I have here, which include the uh, any presets I need, as well as the pin sets. And then we get into the main function, which begins with initializing the motor at the start of it. And then we run into the first section, which is using the QTI to stop. And in the first section, we, set, we start running the motor in a cog, and then we go into a do while loop. And with the QTI sensors to, to give the item what we want, I set the bit of the, of the near uh, QTI to one, because I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about the far one at first. So whenever the uh, that far one gets to zero, meaning the cog or the uh, carriage that is at the end, we end that loop. And then it's, it's similar for coming back, but instead we we set the, set the far bit and not the near bit. And I do basically the same logic for the pink sensor, except with distance as you see here. And then for a while factor, we used we used a keypad or matrix keypad with five pins with uh, two rows and three columns as using uh, the number six in the keypad to end the loop. And then here we have our functions, which basically is just anything that makes it easier for me, such as the avoid QTI, which just gets, sets the uh, item submit so and then the motor and other resets, setters, and getters. And that's it for the code. Here is our me mechatronics monorail. In the first loop, you it starts with the QTIs, reading the one on the right, which when it hits it, it'll stop, and then go back in the opposite direction as so. And then it'll continue to the next QTI, and then after that, it will follow the ultrasonic sensor which will go to a distance about the same of the QTI and then bring it back down and then and then once it's done with that we have a keypad that enters in the uh, the distance you want multiplied by 5 centimeters so if I press 5 it'll give me to 20 cent, 20 cent, 25 centimeters. And then one will be five centimeters. And so on. And then the six is the end term, the program, and that's it for our program.